in this game. We've had some audio and visual problems in this uh, new way of broadcasting basketball. But it hasn't bothered Florida State as Barnes highlight reel. Scotty Barnes is connective tissue. He's a glue guy, a role player that is built to do all the things on a basketball court that don't necessarily show up in a box score. In an era of versatility and switchability, of point centers and small ball lineups, Barnes is precisely the kind of player that teams are looking for to fill out their roster with. What he's not, however, is a guy that has the potential to one day be a star on his own accord. The guy that I like to compare Scotty Barnes to is Draymond Green. Green is a special player, a unique combination of skills that allowed him to slot alongside generational talents like Steph, Clay, and eventually KD to create a dynasty in the Bay. It's enough that Green should end up getting into the Hall of Fame one day. I truly believe that. He's as good as anyone at elevating the great players around him, but Green has never been a guy that can carry a team on his own. He's not the guy that is going to turn Andrew Wiggins and Kelly Oubre into anything more than, you know, Andrew Wiggins and Kelly Oubre. This is the role that you would be drafting Scotty Barnes to play. Defensively, Scotty is great. At six foot eight and 230 pounds with a wingspan that is pushing the seven foot three mark, he has the size and strength to be able to guard centers at the college level. He also spent the majority of his time on the court for the Seminoles defending point guards for 94 feet. There aren't many players that can actually defend everyone from point guards to centers. And Scotty Barnes is one of them, at least at the collegiate level. Barnes definitely has the ability to be a playmaker on the defensive end. He has quick hands and he can pick the pocket of smaller players that are loose with their handle. He's also a terrific team defender that has a real knack for grabbing the ball out of the grip of a dribbler that has turned his back. He's active. He's disruptive, he communicates, he blows up offensive sets with his switching. Now, to be fair, a lot of this has to do with Florida State's defensive scheme, but it is worth noting just how well Barnes executes this scheme and the fact that what Florida State does defensively is awful similar to what a lot of NBA teams are doing these days. He's everything that you expect a Leonard Hamilton player to be. Your defense is just going to be better with him out there. Most importantly, however, he busts his ass on that end of the floor. No questions asked. Caring is half the battle defensively. And Barnes cares. He will put in the effort. There will be no doubt about that, ever. That said, he does have some very real limitations defensively right now. Barnes' strength is his mobility at his size and with his length. But he is not super explosive. He's not a quick twitch player. He can move his feet and he can slide to stay in front in isolation, but he did get burned enough by guys that aren't NBA players to make me question just how well he'll be able to defend the best of the best in the NBA. For someone whose role will be as a defender first and foremost, struggling to stay in front of the likes of Paul George or Jason Tatum or LeBron or any of those big forwards would be an issue. I think the best word to describe him is stiff. To me, this comes through when Barnes is asked to close out on the perimeter. He has a bad habit of getting too high and worrying about contesting his shot at the cost of allowing a straight line drive. This is something that can be coached out of him and flexibility is something that can be developed by NBA strength trainers, but it's something to keep an eye on. It's a red flag. Offensively, Barnes is unique. He played the point for Leonard Hamilton's team despite the fact that he is the size of NBA power forwards. He is very comfortable with the ball in his hands. And he was actually quite effective operating ball screens. He is a terrific passer that can make all of the ball screen reads that he'll need to be able to make at the next level. This is absolutely his best skill offensively. He can hit shooters in the weak side corner. He can read what a tagger is doing and where the help is coming from. He's on target with his lob passes. He has the size to see over the defense. He's just a terrific, terrific passer. And I really do think that this will translate to short roll actions as well. I expect him to be used there quite a bit at the NBA level. That passing also comes through in transition, which is actually where Barnes is at his best as a scorer right now. He's really effective as a grab and go artist, and that should translate well to the next level. His creative passing and vision shines through here as well, especially when his bigs run the floor for him. Guys are going to like playing with Scotty Barnes because he will put the ball where it needs to go. 
But beyond that, his offensive game is really a work in progress. He has no elite scoring skill. He's a good driver when he's going right. He has long strides and he can finish above the rim, but he's really right hand dominant. Even when he does drive left, he has a tendency to come back to his right hand to get a shot off. The biggest concern, however, is his lack of a shooting touch. His three point stroke isn't a lost cause, I don't think, but he did just shoot 27.5% from three this past season. His release takes hours to get off, but it looks workable when he has time and space. Shooting 62.5% from the line isn't great, but again, I'm not convinced that he can't get where he needs to be with time in the gym. For my money, the issue for Barnes as a shooter is the off the dribble stuff. Opponents can just go under screens against him. And even when he gets to his quote unquote pull up, it's entirely ineffective, unnatural, and awkward right now. There's no elevation on the shot, no rhythm. If you're a defense, these are the shots that you want him to take. So as you might imagine, the shooting is the swing skill for Barnes. If he gets it figured out, he could make all-star teams eventually. I know I mentioned Draymond Green earlier, but I think that comparing Barnes to Patrick Williams is a much more effective way to put him into context as a prospect. Like Barnes, Williams is a physical specimen that came off the bench for Florida State as a freshman before becoming a top 10 pick. He went fourth to Chicago last year. But Williams, who to be fair is nowhere near the passer that Barnes is, was a better shooter in college and just shot 39% from three as a rookie in the NBA. He's also a better athlete with better feet on the perimeter. It makes him more effective and more versatile. But most importantly, Williams is 25 days younger than Barnes, who turns 23 days after the draft. He is the age of most sophomores. And that does change the math just a little bit. His ceiling, especially offensively, is somewhat limited. And that's why I just don't believe that Barnes is ever going to be elite by himself. He's never going to be a guy that carries a team on his own. Like Draymond, what he does best is defend, is pass the ball, is compete. He's the glue that makes all of the other pieces fit together and work. He'll elevate the talent around him. And on the right roster, that's something that will be incredibly valuable in the NBA. Barnes driving, trying to tie it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment. Interactions like that really do help grow the channel and they help more people like you find this content. So if you liked what you saw here today and you want to help me out, that's all you got to do. See you on the next video.